we usually come across a situation where we wish to move our websites from one server to another for better performance and higher resource requirements. In such a case, it is very necessary to migrate your data efficiently in order to avoid any loss of data. In this video, let's see how we can migrate one website from one server to another. Log in to your reseller account. Go to products, list all orders. Enter the domain name associated with the hosting package for which you need to take the backup. Click on search. Click on the domain name. Scroll down to the multi-domain Linux hosting package. Click on manage web hosting. The cPanel now opens up. In the cPanel, under the file section, you can click on the backup wizard option. Click on the backup button to take a backup. Here you can select to take the backup of your home directory. Click on the home directory button. When you click on the button, a backup will be taken and downloaded to your local machine. Once your backup has been taken, it will be in the zip format. So as to upload the backup, you can then go to the new hosting under which you wish to upload the backup. In the reseller control panel, go to products, list all orders. Enter in the new domain name for which you wish to restore the backup. Click on the search button. Click on the domain name for which you wish to restore the backup. Scroll down to the hosting package and click on manage web hosting to access the cPanel. In the cPanel, you can go to the backup wizard option under the file section. Click on the restore button. Here you can select the restore type as home directory. Click on the choose file button. You can select the file from your local machine. The backup file will be named as backup hyphen your domain name. It will be in the zip format. Select the file and click on open. Once your file has been selected, you can click on the upload button. The files will be uploaded under the home directory. If your website has any database content, you can then go and also upload the MySQL database. To do so, under the hosting package, click on manage web hosting. To add a database, go to MySQL databases. It is under the Databases section. Here, you can create a new database. Once the database has been created, you can go back and create a new user. You can also enter the password when you're creating the user. A system generated password can be created. Click on the blue create user button.
Once your database and user is created, you can then add the user and database. Select the user, select the database you wish to link it to and click on add. You can enable all privileges to the database. Click on make changes. Once your user is linked to the database, to import any files, you can go to the option PHP My Admin. The PHP My Admin option is under the databases section. Once your PHP My Admin page is open, click on your database. Click on the import button so as to import any files present on your local machine if your website has a database. Once your database and files have been restored, your data has been migrated from one server to another. Hope you like this video. In case of any further queries, you can refer to the description box below. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.